What is up, everybody? So, the ban list dropped on a Saturday. I can't remember the last time this actually happened. However, my point in today's video to give you guys my honest opinions on the ban list, what got hit, and the upcoming format. And as you guys can see, I'm doing this in tier list format. So, I got it um, as needed to happen. Konami, what the F was y'all smoking? Meh, we will see. She'll go back to three, and the hit does nothing. If you guys want more tier list videos like this in the future, if you guys like the way I do this video today, smash the like button, share the video, and leave a comment to help support the channel and grow me in that YouTube algorithm. So, let's just go over the band list real quick right here, and then we're going to go over the actual tier list itself. So, you guys see, Forbidden, here's a Limited, Smell Limited, and Black Wind the Cloak. Now, starting off with... A point of the Red Lotus. So, if you guys don't know what this card does, essentially you pay 2000 look at your opponent's hand, banish a card into the next turn. Say, people, some people might say it needed to happen. Some people might say, come on with the F you was smoking. I'm going to say it does nothing. The reason why I'm going to say it does nothing, guys, is because people in my local area rarely cited this card. And when you look at it, it's just a glorified trap dust shoot. I don't really think it needed to get hit. The car is just a good tech car. You pay life points for it. I can see how in a perfect world this car does hurt people because you can't you're getting car getting information and ripping card in their hand, but we still have cars like Mind Crush, which kinda pseudo does the same thing. You just have to wait for your opponent to search. I don't think the metagame is going to change that drastically because this card being hit. So this hit does nothing. If anything, some people are going to be salty about their side deck choice. Because it, it was a side deck choice at best. Which is why um I don't really care about Konami banning that card. Because we have to see right here, they banned that card. So it's really goofy. Oh, random Facebook post. Oh, random YouTube post. All right, we're back. Next up, Blackwing Steam the Cloak. I believe this one. Let me, let me go back to my YouTube real quick. That one came back to three. Okay. Blackwing card. Uh, should, I think this is proper right here. Should go back to three. Blackwings. This is Blackwings. Blackwing players need more support. The card is good for the archetype, but the deck really ain't that threatening. So it's like, whatever. Redox came back to one. I mean, I realized what am I saying? Blaster came back to one. This card. Uh. Uh. Let's see, okay. You pretty much banish two fire to bring it out. Pitch it in a fire and or a dragon to pop a card on the board. Maybe in Fire Fist, I guess. Yeah, it does nothing. <laughs> it is black. It does nothing. Like, Redox was the better one, you know, honestly. This card been back in the OCG. I mean, I might be wrong. I might be wrong, y'all, but I don't think this card is going to do anything for the metagame. Branded Explosion. Oh, yeah. Needed to happen. Needed to happen. Yeah, needed to happen. Banned. Card was super insane. The only problem is, though, the only problem, Branded has that stupid fusion that essentially does the same thing. So, yeah. This, all it's going to do is this, it gave Branded deck a slap on the wrist. And I believe this is the national, the, um, the ban list we're going to use for national. So, expect Branded to be one of the best decks. Now you just have to wait to hit use your hand traps to stop some of their fusions from coming out because explosion stop you know the, the raw lock the give me a proper lock but they can still do these these locks just with extra steps so expect more bitch shoes more DD crows more of that stupid hand trap that says cards can't be removed from grave card and you're good to go so but yeah this needed to happen I mean I'm not complaining it m makes the Force the deck to use different ways to utilize that combo. I'm cool with that. Cyberstein. I don't know exactly what this was going to be. You got reason why I got hit. I do know every time a Cyberstein gets banned, it's typically for OTKs, FTKs, goofy stuff. So I'm gonna say it needed to happen. Honestly, Cyberstein is one of those cards. Whenever it's legal in a meta game, people will be using it. I'm all for Konami preemptively be hitting stuff that should have got. That needed to get hit, so yeah, needed to happen. Draco face off, it's for pendulums. Eh, meh, we'll see. I don't think pendulums are, are that great, like, they're a solid deck, but 
they're almost as threatening like heroes. In the hands of a skillful pendulum player, you're good. However, in general, it's like whatever. It ain't really doing much, if anything at all. So whatever, they can have it. Ding Long, this scares me. I'm gonna pick this at Kamami with the Ephigal smoking. I know it can be abused in Sora so that deck's annoying. Um the deck's really good. I don't think it's gonna break the metagame per se. Okay, maybe I'll put it in Mayor Wills. I think yeah, coming out with the FGL smoke, smoking too much. Mayor we will see. Um only deck I can think of the rip that's gonna abuse this is Sora so allowing you to send more teams from your deck to the graveyard. So it could bring Sora so somewhat closer to the metagame. We will see. Next up, Jedi Alec Bird, man. This card is so good. Um I'm going to say, huh, it might do nothing, right? But at the same time, I don't necessarily feel like it needed to happen, but I know how goofy this car will be. I'm going to put it back to, man, we will see. I don't think it's that bad of a car to come back because if you guys do not know, you bounce a car on a field, to your, a monster on the field of your hand, special summon it from your hand, it's a level three. And you can synchro with it. When you synchro it, you banish it at the end phase. So I'm sorry, you banish it when you get it off the field after you use this effect of special somehow. Like I know decks, maybe Sora So once again can abuse it. Maybe they don't need to, but it's gonna be it's gonna get used. This car is really good. I remember playing back in 2013, 2014 when this car was ran, and the car is pretty insane. Hair of the orange light. Hmm. I don't like this car. I really don't like this card. Some people might say it does nothing. I'm going to pick Konami with the Effigy smoking. Reason being is because this, I mean, okay. The reason why the car got hit is because of Tier Limits. Tier Limits is not a thing anymore, so they wanted you to bring it back, right? This card is just really good because it's a hand trap. It's searchable. It can be used in the hero decks. <sighs> See, I don't want to be petty, though. Okay, maybe not with the Effigy smoking. I'm going to use this for like the stuff that's like might be metagame breaking. You know what? I'm going to pit it at... Let's hit Needed. No. I'm going to pit it at Does Nothing for now. I don't know. That could be wrong. Let me, let me know in the comments. Because Tier Limits is a good deck, but it's Tier 2. And the other only other deck that's going to be valuable and is Herald type of decks. Those are Tier 2. So for competitive play, it's going to do... I'm going to say it Does Nothing. Let me know what you guys think about that. I believe this is a Rise Heart. Need to get hit. I mean, Cash Tiras. I'm not even going to waste my time. Like, you guys know what Cash Tiras does. Any hit to that? Because I believe this card got, was it banned or limited? Arise Heart. Where? I cannot see to save my life. Arise Heart. Yeah, yeah, it got limited to one. Okay, I'm tweaking. I don't know why I don't know why I just did that. Spacing out. Yeah, I mean, it needed to get hit. I'm off of Cash Tiras hits. I know Unicorn went to two. I'm going to put that at Konami with the Effigile smoking. The card should have went to one. Um, outside of Catch Terrors, Unicorn is going to be the most splashable card in the metagame. It's really good. It's really annoying. It's not really breaking anything, but I think this card being at two makes Catch Terrors. It doesn't destroy it. It makes it still somewhat playable, and, and it makes the card still more of a tech choice. So I think Konami and a lot of people want to Catch Terrors to kind of get destroyed, which he did get hit on this list. But if the reason of hitting it just to give a slap on the list, I'm gonna say what the F is y'all smoking. I think unicorns should have went to one. Let me know how I feel about y'all. Y'all, how y'all feel about that? Lightning storm to two. Um, should go back to three. Honestly, like it's lightning storm. It's a side deck card at best. It's a rare. Well, I ain't gonna say it's rarely main decked. It flows in and out of the main deck throughout the meta, depending on the meta game. I don't think this card should be limited. It's one of those cards that, in certain formats, I can see it being really ridiculously good. Most of the time, it's side, it's side deck card at best. It does nothing going first, going second. You have to break boards, and it is a board breaker. But if they have destruction protection abilities or an omni negate, then the card's doing nothing. So whatever. Lyricist recital, pretty much Diddy Crow searcher. Um. I don't know, like, man, we will see. Like, I know Tribergate can use it. I believe 
what's that bird? I can't think of the bird that name right now. I think they can use it too, but Diddy Crow Searcher, like it's solid, but I'm gonna be that man. We will see. Honestly, I don't really think it's gonna do anything, but I know it's good. This is a math man card. I don't know too much about the deck because I, I don't play against the locals that often. However, I'm gonna pit um Maybe we will see as well. Maybe some of you math make professionals and tell me how that is in the comment section down below. However, I mean the deck was powerful. It, it was one of the more roguish, better roguish decks of the meta game. So I'm gonna put it at Mad We will see. I don't really think the deck should have got hit personally. However, it is what it is. We're gonna see if that even tampers it. Cause that card got hit to one. So it's still at one in the deck. So you math mech experts, let me know. I just don't like speaking. I played against the before. I know it OTKs. I just don't like speaking 100% accuracy about decks I don't play against that often and or decks I don't use. Here's a deck I do play against often, Notorious. I'm going to pit this that needed to happen, man. This card got hit to, I believe it was, what, one? Yeah. Reason being, if you guys ever played against an annoying Notoria deck, you guys know recycling their monsters and sending it to the graveyard and it's, it does a lot, man. So hitting that deck to limit them for potentially bringing a, a first turn Nat Beast, which is almost like saying, hey, you can't use spells. I'm all for it. I mean, it's that one, the card, I don't think the card didn't get banned. At one point, I might think it needed about the three, but right now I think it needed to happen to get a deck and slap on the wrist. I actually had a deck could be a problem. Another cast tier hit needed to happen. I'm not even going to waste y'all time on that moving on. Gamma to one. She go out to three. Gamma ain't did much. Like, I believe cards like Gamma is good, but it's balanced, right? So you can open up the driver and make Gamma completely dead. However, Gamma, what it does, if you're playing a deck that doesn't lock you out from special summons or whatever, you can stop hand traps going first when you're playing your spells. A prime example of this, sometimes branded players can take this in their decks, if I'm not mistaken. Or decks that play like branded can take this card. So let's say if they're trying to pop off and their opponent draws them, they can use this to destroy the droll and still do, use their fusions. And in decks like synchro decks and et cetera, et cetera. However, I don't think this warrants the, the card. Like, it's annoying getting gamma, right? But I'm not going to be that player that says gamma should get it. No, it's, it's, it's freaking gamma. Let gamma rock out. But whatever. Konami is doing what Konami does. This card right here, I believe this was the, what is the stupid card? I don't even know the card name. That's not the, that's pure, oh, purely delicious memory. Another card I can't speak on. I'm going to go ahead and say it needed to happen. Reason being, I can't speak on it. I haven't played against purely the last time I went to locals. However, I know the deck's really good. It's a preemptive hit. Needed to happen. Not even going to waste y'all time. Um, Runic to two. This is a bad hit. I'm going to say this does nothing. <laughs> because, like, most decks that run the Runic stuff only ran two, based on the information I've read online. Obviously, in more pure Runic builds, like the Turi Runic, for example, you run to three. However, in decks that splash the engine, you only run two, from what people are saying. So... I don't think it's going to do anything. It just gives the deck a slap on the wrist. It limits their chances of opening it up turn one. But, like, yeah, that's not going to do much. This card might do something in plants. It does have a cool recovery effect. I'm going to say, man, we will see. Like, it's just one of those. They brought it back, so why not? Or they hit it. Let me know. I had never seen this card before. I, I did read the effect prior. It's, like, okay. But, because this card name is... What is that freaking card name? It is Samsara Lotus. I'm sorry. They bring it back to three. My bad. My apologies. I'm tweaking. Draco face off. Everything like that. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I'm just talking crazy right now. Yeah, that card is good. Yeah, we gon' we gon' we gon' we gon' let it do. What we do. We gon' man. We don't see because I don't really know how good it is right now. Right. I do know engage the engage hit of engage coming back to two. I'm gonna say. Me being a Sky Striker hater, like the deck. See, I'm, I, have a, I have a big rivalry with Sky Strikers, right? I could pick Konami with the F is y'all smoking. Because I'm scared of this deck. But I'm going to say it needed to happen. Like, Sky Strikers is a good deck. I respect it. It's skillful. Let the deck have some fun. Like, I think the metagame is at a point where we can allow the deck to have a little more power. And it should be good. I don't know about three right away because I know how ridiculous three can get. But two right now... I can dig it. 
Same thing with multi roll. Like, I don't think most builds ran three multi roll. This car is really annoying, but it just happened. I'm all for Sky Strikers getting their support. Not necessarily a bad thing. Now, this Sprite Starter, I believe this is back to two, if I'm not mistaken, right? Sprite Starter, yeah, Smell Limited. So it got Smell Limited back to two. Yeah, Sprite is kind of like nowhere in the metagame. I'm going to put it at mid, we will see, only because, like, I'm not going to say it needed to happen because Sprites get really nutty really fast. And I'm not going to say it does nothing. And I'm, So I'm going to put it at mid, we will see. I think Sprites is a strong deck in the metagame. Um, and when it got hit, I didn't really see it as often. So I think with Starter at 2, we might see a change of that. Spiral Quick Fix, man. This car got unlimited. Um... Pfft. I don't want to say it does nothing, right? Because Spirals is such a cool deck that can spam. It was a tier zero deck at one point. They do need the Spiral female agent card, the one that searches out the field spell, to be like to pop off like it used to does. I don't want to say, man, we will see. You know what? I'm going to say it does nothing. At first, I was kind of like, yeah, Quick Fix is back at three, but it's like, okay, Quick Fix is back at three. Yippee, like it does nothing. Like they don't have the full support yet. Maybe in the future, but like, yeah, it does nothing. The last ban list hit. Another card for a deck I haven't played against Super Heavy Summarize, but I have seen it played at my shop. So people do play it at my shop. The deck's ridiculous. It could pop off one card. Need it to happen. I don't think anybody can argue that a borderline tier zero deck shouldn't get hit so yeah man this is my um ban list discussion slash tier list in detail this is actually pretty fun the more i did it throughout the video hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah man tell me this guys thank you if you guys want more tier list tier lists like this done in the future or maybe of different types let me know because i'm definitely willing to do them if you guys are gonna watch them so it's your boy rogue hero and yeah man i overall i guess you guys give you guys some closing statements the ban list is the ban list. Um, I th think considering Nationals is around a corner, the ban list is not the worst ban list that some people are making it seem out to be, but it's not the best either. Like, Branded is still going to run rampant. We're still going to have cash tiros. Like, they didn't get completely slaughtered on the ban list. They just got hit. Because the only thing they ever really got banned is Mind Hacker, which is going to slow down the zone locking. And some combo pieces, which stops preemptive OTKs, like the Samurai stuff and the Cyber Sign stuff. However, for the most part, like, the, the format is going to be, it's still going to be around with these same decks. They're just going to be slightly tampered, but as once players figure out new ways to play these decks consistently, maybe some of the same frustrations and arguments. But I think this is one of those ban lists. Only time will tell. I think it's a 7 out of 10 ban list. Wasn't perfect, but it wasn't horrible. All right, man, it's your boy, Rogue. Give you guys my ban list, tier list, and I'm signing out. Peace. See you guys in the next video.